yeah, feel that 4.7 liter V8. Good morning guys and welcome to a video that I haven't actually filmed in quite some time. Actually there's a lot of people asking questions about the Jeep, you know, where is it, why aren't you filming it, I have questions about the Jeep, uh, I miss seeing the Jeep, and of course it's a smaller crowd on the channel. To address a bunch of those questions, we are going to make a designated video today and uh, we're going to do two things. We're going to do a little bit of mild off-roading and then, uh, so actually I've never been to this off-roading spot, uh, but one of my buddies was telling me about it and he said there's some little trails and a couple areas that aren't too serious that's really all I want to do I want to take this thing off road put some GoPros up and uh, maybe set the camera up and kind of do a couple little off-road drive-bys and stuff like that uh, that's really all I'm trying to do I'm not trying to go mudding or anything too crazy because if you guys have been with the channel long enough you know that um, mudding is not good for normal cars that aren't Wranglers so the second part of this video is going to be addressing why you haven't seen this thing. So if you do care about the Jeep, this video is for you. If you don't care about the Jeep, you can either click off if you haven't already, or you get to listen to the insight on the third car that I own, which is a 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee in barrel green with a lift and um, 32 inch Nitto Terra Grappler all-terrain tires. Uh, I also did an aftermarket head unit and uh, I have a, this is just a basic dash cam that Audu sent me that actually works. I'm going to insert a clip of Marissa getting rear-ended in this Jeep with uh, her family on board. I actually wasn't in the Jeep, she was just borrowing it. Uh, they were going on a little trip. So uh, they are literally just sitting at a light and uh, for several, like at least like 20 seconds. So sitting at a light, it wasn't an abrupt stop or anything like that. And all of a sudden this guy in a Honda Civic comes up and gives them, uh, get, hits them. <gasps> no, we did not just get hit. Are you serious right now? Thankfully, everyone was okay, um, and he wasn't going super fast, but his car was actually already messed up. I'll also insert pictures. It looks like he had hit something or someone or something happened uh, because a lot of the damage to his car was actually already there, so it wasn't purely from rear-ending the Jeep, but that's some random background on the Jeep. The update is the Jeep is still here, obviously alive and kicking, 153,000 miles on this thing and still going pretty strong. Um, there really hasn't been anything I've done to this thing in quite some time. So without further ado, let's get to doing some... Well, it says go straight, and I'm pretty sure the pavement is ending here. So we are probably going to the right place. Honestly, driving on sand is a little bit like driving on snow. I haven't driven on sand like this before in any vehicle. Um, but it is definitely a little bit slippery. You can tell if you kind of turn the wheel, it's not getting full traction like it would, of course, you know, like on the road. Look at this little car, you can do it! All right guys, welcome to the openness, the quietness, and the beautifulness of Florida. I actually, I'm not really even sure where I am right now, but as you can see, from the videos that I filmed so far. I haven't really done any serious off-roading, so don't make fun of me just yet, because I do see a little trail right here that I can definitely take care of in the Jeep. So some of you guys might be making fun of me, especially if you're truck guys or Jeep guys or off-road guys. Oh man, you didn't even off-road. But the one thing, which if you are a serious off-roader that you should always remember, is to make sure that you're safe and you have a buddy system and that you don't get into any stupid trouble uh, that you can't get out of. So I'm out here all alone. You know, I have a shovel, I have some wood, I have an air compressor, I have food and I have water. Um, and I have a charged cell phone, which is helpful assuming I have service. 
but I don't want to go down a trail that has a lot of water on it or something like that that I'm not really sure uh, if I can get out of. So that is definitely something to take into account. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to put the camera up and uh, I'm gonna, I think I can definitely handle this. As long as I have a little bit of momentum, there's no problem because the all-terrain tires are actually pretty good. Um, and there's no tricky roots or anything like that. So if anything, I can always just turn around right here if I need to, but there's seriously no one out here. It's actually cooler today in Florida. So everyone's kind of with their families or they're chilling inside or whatever. But let me put the camera down and we'll, uh, we're gonna see how these things go. Well, I definitely need to look for a uh, self-service car wash because that is not going to be sprayed off at the house. Absolutely not. <laughs> Sick. You guys didn't think I was gonna go like straight up trail riding. You, you probably anticipated a little bit of baby off-roading, but I wanna take things slow. I don't wanna do anything crazy, but I do wanna take a part of the video that I mentioned that I was going to talk about why I haven't filmed the Jeep. And the first reason uh, I haven't really filmed the Jeep in general is because what happened was I drove the Jeep down first uh, when I had an interview in Florida. So I used to live in Ohio and uh, to get down to the interview it was just a little bit easier and I wanted to bring the Jeep down. Um, so I drove the Jeep down, it was down there for almost a month. So I literally didn't have it in my possession to even film if I wanted to. So that's one reason why it wasn't filmed for so long. Um, the second reason is really that there wasn't a lot going on with it. I had a couple of things that I did, uh, you know, in the past I did suspension. I did that little uh, hidden light bar underneath the front license plate, you know, the roof basket, a bunch of other things, but I hadn't really had a lot more plans for it. So, and I didn't want to put a ton of money into it. So I didn't really have a lot to say. So it was kind of pointless just to do a video that, um, you know, there isn't really much to say and there wasn't a lot of people that were into it uh, especially because there wasn't actually a mod and i wasn't really doing off-roading it was winter time um, that kind of leads me into my very last point about the jeep and why i haven't really filmed a lot lately a lot of you guys actually thought i sold it uh, obviously i haven't um, the reason is not a lot of people are really into it and i hate to use that as a reason not to film a vehicle um but you know it was getting like a fraction of the views and I was putting in just as much or more work you know, doing the off-roading stuff or doing mods or spending money on the Jeep and uh, it just wasn't really like panning out the way I really wanted to so if I had more things that I was just as into with the M3 or the M5 or something like that I was just more willing to film that 
Um, that's not to say if I'm doing a mod to this vehicle that I won't film it, because I absolutely will. A company actually reached out to me, same company I used for the light bar. They have a bunch of LEDs, so I might do, you know, some re reverse lights, uh, sort of underneath the bumper there or something like that, or implement them on the roof basket, stuff like that. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing, you know, I'd love to get a set of wheels and, you know, better tires and stuff like that. But uh, for now, I'm not going to be dumping a ton of money into it. So I hope that answers the questions. Uh, a bunch of you guys were actually asking me. I got a bunch of messages on Instagram about, you know, where's the Jeep? What kind of spacers do you have? What's this? What's that? Uh, you should do a video on the Jeep. So for better or for worse, here's a Jeep video. I did a, a little bit of off-roading. I'm sorry. It's for babies, I know. But, uh, yeah. So anyways, I had a lot of fun today. I just needed to go spray this thing down. I'm literally gonna be Google searching for one of those self-service bays and spray this thing down because it is coated. So it'll be just fine as long as the dirt doesn't dry um, and we'll be good to go. So thank you guys. Leave comments below. I'll try to answer them regarding the Jeep. I can do another Jeep update if you guys really are interested. But uh, for now, here is your Jeep content. I'll see you guys next time.